Before we start, remember to always wear a protective mask when spraying, and do so in a well-ventilated area. Spray painting. Spray paint is useful for achieving a smoother finish than painting with a brush. Brands I recommend are High Coat, Tamiya, Humbrol, and Army Painter. To demonstrate, I'm going to be using this kit built locomotive. As you can see, I have already painted the front buffer beam. To avoid this being spoiled, I'm going to protect it with masking tape. The first step of painting is to prime the model. I recommend High Coat Primer, white for light colours, grey for dark colours, and red for red. Before using any spray paint, it's important to shake it for two minutes. This model is going to be red, so I'll be spraying it with the red primer first. I normally do two coats of this at half hour intervals. Make sure to keep roughly a foot away from the model. Start spraying away from the model and move in like so, always keeping the spray can moving. I like to go for five sprays and then move on to the next side. It's important not to overspray. When you're done, do two upside down sprays away from the model to clear the nozzle. After the primer has dried for an hour, I then move on to the top coat. The process is the same as with the primer. I ended up doing three coats of this red at half hour intervals, but this will vary from project to project. With the model now sprayed and given a day to dry, I can remove the masking tape and apply the other colours by hand. So, what do you want to look at next? Water slide transfers, painting buildings, or maybe kit building? Whatever you decide, make sure to show me what modelling you've got up to on Twitter, link in the description, or tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.